Hello there traders, for today's analysis I decide to cover a gold market and we'll speak about the pound versus US dollar and about USD versus Canadian dollar. I will start with the gold market first. So what I found on the gold market is basically we got a big sell off yesterday which was pretty much what we expected and what I suggested uh, to focus in my previous forecasts. The market was, was basically poised for the down, another downside lag and we got that downside lag exactly to the level where we marked at 1750, right? That was a uh, so basically consolidation pivot and also low from this big up bar back in August 13, right? So we just tested that and reacted back up uh, during the overnight session. But what I found most recently is that it seems like the buyers actually completed their their rally and that we can see the potential resell phase and the continuation of this downside move that we started yesterday. So what we got is basically the bear divergence on 30 minute and hourly as well with a higher high on the price section, a lower high on oscillator as well on the both stochastic and RSI oscillator. So it seems like we're breaking the mean. So I do expect uh, the price to go and revisit the lows at 1750 again, 51 and then uh, 1745. So I can see that basically the price uh, and the goal uh, to try to retest the previous day low or the previous swing lows at least based on this. So watch for selling opportunities, preferably on the rallies. This already sold off a bit, so the area which was a very interesting was around 1765. But anyway, you can watch for some lower frames, maybe for some selling on the rallies towards the lows. I also want to touch the USD versus Canadian dollar. There is a potential completion of ABC type of correction based on this upside swing. If you check, there was also bull divergence there and there was a close price reversal. We are right now back into the mean. So we already achieved that objective that we put back into the mean. But based on the current price section, we got to close above the mean. So we are right now doing some free bar consolidation. So maybe to watch for the breakout of this upside bar from hour ago and then expect more upside continuation towards the recent swing highs at 1.2690, 1.2695. 1 uh, so definitely watch for buying opportunities on the dips on this one. And final one I wanted to post about um, about a pound. So I will just go right now and go to the British pound versus US dollar. You can basically see that the price got a divergence. It was quite a big reversal right there. We got a breakout of the channeling mode and now we went below and back to the mean. But overall I expect more downside movement as long as this high at 1.3813 in hole, I see more uh, more potential for the downside in the next period, probably towards the previous day low at 1.3765. So my advice will be basically to focus on to sell on the rallies, we are right now. Uh, we are right now got rally right there. If you go to the lower frames, for example, you can see that we got that rally. If you got even five time, five minute time frame, you see that we reached some extreme, and maybe we we got another higher high, but maybe we reached then some bear divergences in the lower frames for the further downside continuation. So as long we can stay below 1.3815, I will say. Um, I give more odds for the downside continuation towards the previous day low at 1.3763. That'll be all for this analysis. I hope that you enjoy. Um, uh, have a good weekend and see you all next week.